my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's Tuesday which means it is food shop and meal plan day. If you're new here, hello my name's Kaylee, and I am food shopping and meal planning for a family of four. So there's myself, my husband, our eight year old son and our six year old daughter and this week I've been trying to keep it cheap, I've been trying to buy as little as possible because actually we've still got quite a lot in the freezer and the cupboards and um, I just I need to start using that up because we only have a small freezer um, I need to use that up before I try and cram more stuff into it um, so I think my total spend this week was about £48 um, I will check that I always put it in the thumbnail anyway so I'll get it off the receipt and I will leave it on there but um, I've still got a few meals that I can carry over from last week so last week, um, let me see, I've got last week's meal plan here with me. Um, I didn't make the lasagna and I've been saying I'm going to make it for weeks and I was so adamant last week that I was going to actually make it, um, but I didn't. So I'm going to do that, I am going to do it, probably tomorrow. Um, in fact, I've put it on this week's meal plan and I've underlined it. Um, we had the chicken curry, we didn't have the salmon broccoli pasta, um, we didn't have, oh, we did have pizza. Um, so there's just, there's a few things left um that I should have used that but I didn't because we already had so much stuff in the freezer we had a little bit more flexibility so um that's why I kind of went off plan so there's certain things from last week's meal plan that are the same in this week's meal plan because it's got to get used I'm pretty good at putting stuff in the freezer when I don't use it though so there hasn't been food waste because of it um I've just I just we fancied something different so let me show you what I bought from the shops first of all I did an Aldi shop this week so um I'll show you that and then I will come back and I'll tell you what is on the meal plan so this is this week's food shop it is a very small one this week um I believe it cost about 48 pounds but I'm going to show you in my freezer and cupboard afterwards and you will understand why it's only a little shop um, but here's what we got. So I got some toilet roll. Um, I got some, what have we got here? Chorizo style pork sausages. I thought they might be nice in some sort of sausage casserole. I've got some peppers that need using. Um, so I thought we can make something with that. I have got some chicken nuggets and some of these sesame chicken tenders. These are really, really good. Um, fish fingers, just the cheap ones from Aldi. And some tempura chicken mini fillets. We have got, which way shall I go? Romaine lettuce. I've got a carton of custard, kidney beans, cannellini beans, two cartons of passata. There's some of this um, apple and pear fruit and barley cordial. Really like this one, it's really tasty. Some split pot yogurts. I've got some bananas around there and some satsumas, golden delicious apples and carrots. There's some bagels back there as well, and some pears, tortilla wraps, um, strawberries, blueberries, baby plum tomatoes, spinach, some figs, love these um, on porridge with a bit of honey, really tasty, some brioche burger buns, medium cheddar, some Morris Piper potatoes, six eggs not sure if I said that I'm kind of going around in a spiral and I've confused myself as to where I'm up to so I apologize six eggs um oh I was really excited to see this so I can't wait to try it it's some hot and spicy bagel seasoning so I don't know it caught my attention and I just really wanted to give it a go I'll let you know if it's any good or not two packets of penne pasta I've got some cinnamon chip cereal and I think I think I've said everything. Let me know if there's anything on there that I didn't say, but I'm pretty sure that's all of it. I'm gonna show you what's in my cupboards now so that you can see why I didn't need so much. I've just opened the fridge and realized I've got pears left over from last week. Guess we're doing the hard sell on the pears with the kids this week. And then these peppers need using. So I think I'm gonna stick those in the slow cooker with those sausages and some sort of sauce. Um, I'm probably gonna do that today. And then I still actually have quite a bit of cheese left. There's some halloumi and some soft cheese at the back. The bottom one's not even been opened. So could do with getting those used this week. And then in the cupboard, I've still got two tins of sweet corn. We've got soup. 
I've got one, two, three, four cartons of passata, so I probably didn't need to get that, but never mind. We've got pesto, I've got four tins of beans, three tins of tuna. Still haven't made that lasagna that I keep saying I'm gonna make. I'm gonna do it, one day, <laughs> definitely. Um, I need to do that, but yeah, there's the white sauce to make the two lasagnas. I've still got rice and pasta, um, lasagna sheets. Um, so probably didn't even actually need the pasta, but that, do you know what? That's been up there for ages. That's from Elf on the Shelf last year. Um, so yeah, we've still got a pretty healthy looking cupboard and the freezer. Okay, this is probably a mess, but we're showing it how it is because I can't be bothered to clean it just to film it. I've got chili, fajita chicken. I might have that for lunch. Um, that is another chili, um, chorizo and butter bean, butter bean? <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Butter bean casserole. Um, there is a garlic and coriander and naan back there. There's a pizza. Um, we have also got, we have got, it's not chilli, that's written on from last time. This is broccoli and stilton soup. There's some chicken stock over here. We have got some chicken breast fillets. We've got the pork belly slices, didn't end up having those last week. That beef mince that I bought to make the lasagnas, never mind. Two packs of sausages. Um, what's this? Salmon, again, I think I meant to use that last week but I didn't I've not been on it this week we just had a lot going on um there's a garlic baguette there's peas there's more soups there's broccoli and stilton soup at the back there and mashed potato there's a lot of food in this freezer um a little bit of ice cream that needs using because it's nearly empty um and then in the bottom we have got some chicken legs um, this is like the terrible drawer. We've got some bread and some more chilli. So there's a lot of food in this house um, and I need to use it up. Okay, so that was my shopping. Like I say, there wasn't an awful lot, but there's plenty to go with the stuff that we had in the cupboards um, and the freezer to make plenty of meals. So I've done a meal plan and I've done this week, but I've also done next week some ideas. So. I may end up mixing and matching from my next week list, this week's list, because a lot of it's in the freezer, it doesn't really matter what order we eat it in, as long as it all gets used at some point. So, um, the first meal which we actually had yesterday, because if you watch my videos you'll know that I do the food shop on a Monday, I film this on a Tuesday. So the first meal that we had was the um, chorizo sausages, and I made them into like a sausage pie. So we had peppers in there, I used passata, um, cook the sausages in the slow cooker throughout the day with the peppers and um, all of that good stuff. I put in like paprika, I can't remember what else I put in it. And then later on in the day I transferred it to a casserole, di casserole dish, don't know why I can't say that. Um, and I topped it with mashed potato, a little sprinkle of cheese. And actually this one went down really well. It's the first time we bought those chorizo sausages, I would definitely buy them again. The kids liked them, Alistair liked them, and he's the fussiest one in our family. Um, so yeah, I would say that one was a success. And I've got a portion left that I can have for my dinner today, which is always a bonus. Um, the next meal is one that's actually in the slow cooker as we speak. So I'm going to do a chicken pesto pasta tray bake type thing. So I had some chicken in the freezer. What I've done is I defrosted that. I've put it in the slow cooker with some passata, some pesto, some mixed herbs, Worcester sauce, stock, things like that. Um, I'm not really good at following recipes, I just throw in what I think will be nice together and hope for the best. That's, that's kind of how I cook in this house. Um, so I'm going to leave that in the slow cooker all day and then I will shred it later, so it's like shredded chicken. Then I'll boil the pasta st um, so that it's still like a little bit underdone. Um, tip that along with the chicken pesto sauce stuff into a casserole dish, top with cheese because every meal is better with cheese, right? Um, and then pop that in the oven for a little bit. And I'm hoping that's going to be really nice. I've got good vibes for it. I feel like I'm looking forward to it. So let's just hope that it meets expectations <laughs> and it actually tastes good. Can't go wrong with pasta with my kids. Um, I absolutely love it. I haven't put any veggies 
into the sauce with the chicken but what I thought I'd do is I'll serve it with some carrots peas and sweet corn um because Alistair won't want those in the tray bake but the kids will have those they they like them so I'll put them on the side um just to get some veggies in as well tomorrow I know it's two days of pasta in a row but I need to get this done I'm gonna make a lasagna and do you know what it is that's put me off? It's because I've got a big thing of mince in the freezer and I need to defrost it. And when I make a lasagna, I prefer to make it like earlier on in the day, give it a chance to settle, cool, and then pop it in the oven later. Um, and I always make one to freeze as well. So I need the mince to be defrosted and ready at a reasonable time. And um, I just keep forgetting to take it out of the freezer, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna set myself an alarm and I'm going to get that chicken, chicken beef mince out of the freezer tonight I'm gonna let it defrost in the fridge overnight and I'm making a lasagna um if I still haven't made it next week then you all need to hold me accountable in the comments because like I need to have a word with myself um on Thursday the kids eat at my mum and dad's because I'm working Alistair's working so my mum is amazing she does the school pickup and takes them back to hers for dinner so it's just me and Alistair and I've got those brioche rolls and the tempura chicken um fillets so i'm just going to do like chicken burgers basically brioche rolls toasted with um the tempura chicken on um bit of chili sauce bit of mayo like i love that sort of dinner that's like that's my favorite kind of meal friday again we're both in work so i've just put that we'll do jacket potatoes because it's quick and easy and no effort um saturday i've put chili nachos we've got all the ingredients for that i've got chili that i made last week um and there's loads of it left <laughs> so i put down that we can use that i've got tortilla chips um i've got creme fraiche left i might need to buy some new fresh creme fraiche because i think it will be it will have been open for too long by then um but we'll see what it looks like i always go off look and smell rather than use by dates um so we'll see and then the last meal on Sunday I've put that I'm going to do the pork belly that I probably should have done last week although it wasn't on the meal plan so that's fair enough. I've got the pork belly in the freezer, I've got sausages in the freezer because the kids we've tried them with pork belly and I still will give them a little bit on their plate so that they can try it because you know taste change sometimes it takes children like lots and lots of times I've been exposed to something to actually like it um but i'm gonna put sausages on just to make sure that they have something filling so we'll have pork belly they'll have sausages and then i'm going to do mash peas and carrots with that so and i'll probably do some sort of gravy um an apple sauce so that's kind of not a roast but like a lazy person's version of that kind of meal i don't know um and then like i say i've got plenty of meals on my list for next week as well so some of them may end up switched out i'm hoping next week all i want to buy from the shops is um fruit veg milk you know just the perishables i'm hoping i can do it on like 30 40 quid next week because we need to start using up this food usually i'm really good at using up what we have but recently i think i've got a little bit lazy and the freezer has become very well stocked which is great i'm not knocking it but it's time to use some of the things in there and make space for new foods to go in um let me know what's on your meal plan for this week i would love to know i love to get new ideas of what i can cook for the family and um yeah thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye